Hello, my name is Karma Fatty. We're doing with Kathleen Clifford on the 15th of the 5th, 2013. Okay, okay, Kathleen. Kathleen, what kind of games did you play when you were younger? Well, we, I lived up in Marassa Drehit and, and one of the members of the shop in Marassa Drehit, there was eight of us all together. So we spent most of our time out on the road playing hurling and more often than not we had only one hurling between a whole gang of us and we were lucky enough to have a ball. We had a one of the boys got a present of, of a good ball, we called it, and it lasted for a long time. So with the Tobins and the Graces, there was a whole gang of us there. And every evening after school, weather permitting, when we'd have the lessons done, we'd go out and play hurling. And because there was no cars on the road at that time, it was only all people, either what most people walking or into the horse and car. So there was, we were no danger to, they were no danger to us. So anyway, tea time then we'd be called in and then so invariably somebody would lose a shoe or something had happened and there'd be a big row then and the ball would be gone into Mrs. Maher's field, all those people up there now. But they were great games anyway. And then on, that was the weekdays, weather permitting, the weather always seemed to have been better at that time. Now I'm talking back now in, what, fifth, uh, 70 years ago, the better part of 70 years. So. We all seem to have had good dry days. I can never remember the wet ones. But anyway, we, we walked to school. We were in our dance school and we walked a half mile every day back and over. And if the weather was very wet, you got to drive. You were very lucky about driving a creamery car, the back of a creamery car. Right. And we had only one coat each. <laughs> and the fuel was on the car. We, my mother used to give us a, an empty canvas bag. And we were covered. That's an old bag now. You'd be buying potatoes or something like yeah, four yeah, bags know, now yeah, yeah. to keep us dry went into school then and when we got into school after playing again we used to have to go way up the field a whole gang of us to get up the ray to collect kippens brusnet they used to call it in irish yeah. the small and for start the fire for the teacher but any of the pupils we never got near the fire because the teacher always stood in front of the fire <laughs> and he was nice and warm but anyway and we'd walk home again then and fine days we'd take us about an hour and a half to get home because we'd be leeching along the road we used to pick um, blackberries and uh, pick at a particular gate over near us, it was Quirk's Gate. There was a stream flowing down and we'd go in and we'd eat and um, we used to pick up a green, uh, it, was, um, like, it was like a large shamrock, it was clover. Oh it was, yeah. It was yeah, what the yeah, rabbits yeah. used to eat and we used to, eat, we used to eat loads of that coming home. <laughs> so we were still there to tell the story. Yeah, and did you play conkers when you were younger? Uh, I didn't, no, but then the boys made uh, little things at the cross too. They had the circle and they used to play the ones that you hit the... Um, Marbles, is it? No, no, the bigger, no. the sticks, the dollies. They'd have six dollies or, or five dollies in a circle. And you would have skittles, that was it. Skittles, yeah. Skittles, yeah. so we used to play skittles too. When we could get a chance with the boys, you see, the boys were a bit oh, right. bullies that time too. <laughs> and, uh, but then we did, and we never played conkers. They played conkers. We used to go and collect conkers from the trees up uh, for the boys. And then we had one bicycle or two. Now maybe one of the Tobins might have a bicycle and we'd go off drive cycling and take somebody else in the back of the bike. So that sort of thing. And then, of course, if there was nice apples in anyone's orchard, it was important, even though we had apples at home, but we used to make the, the big effort of climbing a wall, <laughs> that sort yeah. of thing. But um, then in, on Saturdays, then, we used to go um, every Saturday up to Lake Musgrave, a whole yeah. gang of us walking, yeah. and we'd carry jam jars, empty jam jars, just small, and we'd fill it with hearts on the way up. Hearts now were like the mulch, but no, they won't be coming in, no. They were like the mulberries you can buy today, but they were they were the hearts we had up in the mount all around on the way up from Russell Drehit. And you'd get up above yeah. about a mile up and she walking meant nothing. And halfway up then we'd get thirsty and we'd been down at a lovely stream going down and fill our little jars with water and drink it down. We would come back at about six in the evening. Nobody ever came looking for us either. <laughs> <laughs> came down, we were hungry. Yeah, it was GA a big thing back then. Uh, not so much the games until later on. I had brothers that were good at the GA when yeah. I was about 10 or 12, they were playing for Bansha. Yeah. So what was your main game, you say? Our main? Your main game? Our main games was hurling. Hurling, yeah. Hurling, yeah, yeah. Our hurling. And then, oh yes, then we joined up. We got a, I got a few girls going and we used to go into a field across the road from home. That was, that was where the pony was kept. And we'd go in there and play hurling. And that's, but that's about all we had because you see, when, we, when there's so many in the one house after the dinner, 
my mother, if the de- weather was fine, you eat the dinner and then you were hunted out to play. Yeah. You see, and then, but as I say, I said before, there was no danger on the roads because there was no traffic at all that yeah, we know, know of today. Yeah, yeah. And uh, th- that was, that was, and then we'd go, uh, oh yes, we used to go up then in the summer, July and August when the hurts were there, and we'd buy pig hurts then in the mountain, the small black ones, and bring them down and sell them. And we'd really? often we'd often end up by getting a, a threepence, a, tro- a threepenny piece with a little, a small little silver coin with a hair on it. Really? Yeah. yeah, I think I have some of them down below. And my father used to buy the hearts, but then we blotted our copy book when it came to Blackberry time in um, uh, September, because we used to put water in the bottom to to make them heavy. <laughs> and he'd heal them out into onto a thing to weigh them, and mixing all the water would come out. So he wouldn't give us any money for those. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so our church was only harmless, like, you know. Yeah, but that's, the tricks wouldn't work. Yeah, and, and then we used to go swimming down the river. Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole group was used to go swimming. I like swimming. Yeah. And a few more, more of me, so I used to like swimming. I don't, we, we, Declan, my twin brother, I was a twin. Oh, are you? And Declan and I taught ourselves how to swim, which, which um, sure you couldn't do today, with tires of bicycles. Uh, not the tire, make the tire smaller and put it around our waist and we go into the river and swim away. Well, try and swim and eventually we did learn. Yeah. Yeah, and Declan used to jump from the bridge, the top of the bridge, straight down into over at McBurks on the way to Bancha. Alright, yeah. Yeah, and we, at that time too we used to have a water gallus and somebody else would come from uh, maybe on holidays from England and they'd be good swimmers because they, um, they had the benefit of um, swimming pools, yeah. whereas we didn't of course, but still I remember I got second one time, and an English girl beat me swimming down at the river, the big river. I always remember I got a lovely, a lovely um, fire guard as a prize. <laughs> I, I never, I never thought I'd see the day that I get that I get a prize for swimming. And um, what else? Then if we wanted to go to any matches later on, you had to get away into bench and you either walked or got a bicycle or somebody give you a drive on the, on the back of a bike. Yeah. A lot of that matches would be in bench, and that was the Galatea Rovers. They were the very good teams at oh, the time. Yeah. <laughs> but anything further than that, we didn't get to because we had no way of going. So yeah. that, that was a lot of our, our activity that time. That's what you see it so amazing. Mo- most, hurling, most of the time, yeah. play out, play skittles, hurling or skittles, and the boys you'd play the marbles, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, as, as everybody got older, you see, the boys didn't want the girls joining in with them, you yeah, know. Yeah, and that, soccer wouldn't be really Oh gosh, no, it was no never soccer, soccer. No, yeah. no, it was GAA, just the hurling. Yeah. And if we were lucky, I, I remember an aunt of mine came from England and brought home a football. So all the boys, of course, come and hear the football and they play football all the time. Yeah, yeah. And then um, we used to, um, we used to put, yeah, we used to, if the weather was very good sometimes and we used to make a tin top and take out blankets from the house and sleep outside at night. Could we, would you, yeah. We would, out, well, it wouldn't be too far to either be across the road or out in the lawn. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, then school was, yeah, well, then we had to do lessons, of course, as well. Has it changed much since then and now? Well, it has. What like, have been the changes? Like? The changes, well, you see, for us, that's the only life we knew. And we were we were still playing around the roads and we were up to 12 or 14, whereas nowadays children, you see, advance quicker. Yeah, and yeah, no. then, but you see, what you have now is suiting ye because you were brought up that way. Yeah. But when you think of seventy years and the difference, you know, and then the wars were on as well. You see, oh, yeah. we never saw bananas until the war was over. Good. Yeah, and then we used to have to help our fathers in the shop to weigh tea and sugar and all. All those things were rationed. Really. And yeah. My father used to close the shop on Thursday, and we'd come up from school, and I was one of the younger ones, and I used to be, I used to fill the bags. And my older sister would weigh him, and another another brother older again would time. And did you own, own a shop? Yeah, we did at one last right here. But um, my father was very cross if you spilt any little bit of sugar or tea, but then it was very scarce, you see, because yeah. the war was on, the Second World War, and nobody from the locality was gone to it. But you see, the imports coming into Ireland, we couldn't get cigarettes, you couldn't get tea, you couldn't get those things. You know? Yeah, but wasn't there 1916 Easter Rising as well? Though, oh, the Rising was there as well, but I never, I wasn't even born that time. Oh, no, 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 yeah. No, yeah. Th- my father was in that too. Was that he, was yeah. part of what's over the road there now. Yeah, the Irene Monument. Monument, yeah. Yeah, my father was in that in Dublin, but not okay. down the country. Like. Anyway, that was way before my time, but 
Um, yeah, we, we used to visit people's houses and hunt. Oh yeah, we used to collect milk then. We had everybody had to go and collect milk in a gallon. There was no bottled milk. There was nobody delivering milk. You would go to the nearest farmer and they'd give you a, a pint or a quart of milk and you would pay them for it and bring it home. And there was no pasteurised milk either. Yeah. But then later on, the creameries got modernised and they pasteurised the milk so that people wouldn't get GB. And Any of our crowd never got TV. Yeah, and where would your local creamery be then? It was right next door to it was in Russell Drive. Oh, yeah. and um, yeah. like, would you go into a market selling stuff as well? Like? No, 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 no. We were too far away, so we only had a horse, a, 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 a pony and trap. And oh, that yeah. was for going to mass on Sundays. <laughs> yeah, into yeah. Bansha. And if we passed some, some older lady or an elderly woman on the road, my father used to sit, tell us, hop off there and walk the rest of the ways and put up Mrs. So and so, you know? Yeah. But sure, um, that was we had all day to do it like. Yeah. Anyways, Hatling, thanks for that. Anyways, thanks for your time. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Thanks.